Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care for the peanut cactus. The peanut cactus, also known as the Echinopsis chemiserius, is a small, spiny cactus native to Argentina. When grown indoors, this cactus will usually reach a height of about 6 inches. It has green, cylindrical stems that are covered in small spines. The flowers are orange with red tips and bloom in the spring or summer. The small white bristles they are covered in are soft to the touch. Handling is easier than other cacti, but you still need to be careful. It is an easy-to-grow plant popular for its colorful blooms and unique appearance. In general, this cactus is a low-maintenance plant perfect for anyone who wants to add a little bit of color interest to their home decor. The peanut cactus is a delightful little plant that makes a great addition to any indoor setting. Peanut cactus prefers full sun but can also tolerate partial shade. If you are growing it indoors, place it near a sunny window. However, depending on the severity of the sunlight, moving it somewhere a slightly shady place might be a good idea. The peanut cactus is a pretty drought-tolerant plant. However, it is still important to provide it with enough water during the growing season. Water the plant deeply but infrequently, and allow the soil to dry out completely between watering. Then, during the winter months, reduce watering even further. The ideal temperature range for this cactus is between 50 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It can tolerate lower temperatures, but it will start to suffer if the temperature consistently falls below 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Peanut cactus does not like humid conditions. If you're thinking about placing this cactus in your bathroom, you might consider moving it to a drier location. This cactus might look pretty next to leafy houseplants, but remember that their care needs often differ, so pick a spot accordingly. The peanut cactus does not need a lot of fertilizer. In fact, too much fertilizer can actually be harmful to the plant. If you do decide to fertilize, use a diluted solution of cactus fertilizer and apply it a couple of times during the growing season. Peanut cactus can be propagated by offsets or seeds. To propagate by offsets, carefully twist or cut a small offset from the mother plant. These plants produce offsets by the bucket load, so you won't have any problems finding one. Allow the offset to callus over for a few days before potting it up in well-draining cactus soil Provide bright, indirect light, and keep the soil slightly moist until new growth appears. New roots should form in a couple of weeks. To propagate by seeds, sow the seeds in well-draining cactus soil, keep the soil moist but not wet, and provide bright, indirect light. The seeds should germinate within a few weeks. Once they have sprouted, transplant them into individual pots. These plants are slow growers, and filling a container can take some years. This cactus does not need to be repotted often. Only repot when the roots start to crowd the pot, which you can check after two or three years. Use a well-draining cactus soil and a pot with drainage holes. If you're opting for a hanging basket, you can choose one that's aesthetically pleasing. Like most other cacti, the standard cactus mix is the way to go. The peanut cactus is not toxic to humans and animals. If your pet eats some of the plants, it may experience indigestion or nausea, which is entirely normal and not due to poisoning. The peanut cactus is relatively resistant to pests and diseases. However, mealybugs can be a problem. These insects are attracted to unhealthy plants, so keeping your cactus healthy is the best way to prevent an infestation. If they even happen to infest your plant, don't hose down the plant. Instead, use standard pesticides and you will manage to get rid of the problem. 